Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, so today we'll be uh, working on Unity. Uh, today's topic would be on uh, terrains. So we're not going to do too much. Well, actually, we're not doing programming today. Uh, we're just looking at the game, more of the game world making of 3D uh, with terrains. Uh, so uh, let me uh, present my screen. Okay, and uh, everyone else, I'll open up your Unity Hub. And then um, once you have this, everyone should be able to see my screen. So once you have that, just click on New. Okay, we're making a new project. And uh, we're making, of course, we're working with 2D. So just click 3D. Uh, and then the project name, just call it Terrains or Terrain or My First Game or whichever one, but whatever you would like. And just click on Create. Once this happens, um, you start seeing the loading. Uh, it says uh, Unity Package Manager and then the and Unity starts to load. So just give it a couple seconds uh, for it to oh, start. Sorry, mm -hmm. Fernando. It says the license is invalid. What? How would we fix that one? Oh, OK. You just have to sign in. Um, so on Unity Hub, on the yeah. top right, it should be like an, uh, an account profile picture. Just mm -hmm. click on that and just click Sign In. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you don't have to sign in with a Unity account. You could just keep scrolling down. And it says Google. So just sign in yeah. with Google. Yeah. OK. All right. Yeah once, you. yeah, once you get that, um, there's also, uh, it asks you a question. Are you using Unity professionally? Just say no. Um, just it's personal. And then you're not making any revenue with this. So. Mm. Just yeah. Because uh, if you're making revenue, then they require you to pay for a license. But it's just for learning purposes. So it's, it's free. Mm -hmm. And just make sure to activate the account. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you guys a couple more. Um, minute uh one minute two minutes maybe your computer's gonna load this so when you guys have it uh it should look something like this yeah just look something like this OK, just uh, let me know in the chat if you're ready to move on so uh, we can move on. All we're doing is just making a new, uh, a new game. I haven't done anything else. Okay, and uh, Edward, are we okay? Um, I'm almost done. So, downloading and saving. What? Sorry. Is it still working? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, it's still going. Ah, okay, okay. I'll give you a couple more minutes, seconds. Just type okay. in the chat when you're ready, okay?
All right, perfect. Uh, so for the ones that have that are um, haven't been exposed to Unity, um, so I'm going to give a quick tutorial uh, of the um, of the panels. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have our hierarchy, uh, and our hierarchy is everything that belongs in our current our current scene. Um, so you can think about scene kind of like levels. So in this level, uh, we have uh, just the main camera and then directional lights. Um, so anything we all, we create, it's going to be on the left. And in the middle, we have three tabs. Uh, well, I think you should have three tabs. Um, the first one is scene. Uh, the scene tab is basically your, like your editor window. So you can uh, look around. Um, so if you hold Alt uh, on, on Windows, it's Alt. So you hold Alt and you click the mouse, left click. You can rotate or orbit around objects. Um, so if you click and drag, uh, you're able to look around, uh, you know, orbit around kind of like a satellite around the object. Um, if you hold Alt again and middle, click middle mouse, you're able to pan. So you pan in only in one, uh, well, two axes uh, on the left and right, up and down, up, uh, perspective to the um, to the camera. And then you you do the same thing with right. So you can zoom zoom out and zoom in. Um, and then uh, you could also do with the mouse wheel. You can zoom in and zoom out. Okay. And uh, if you don't hold Alt and you right click, you can ro rotate. I mean, you can uh, also turn, but if you don't hold Alt, you, this is called just rotation about the camera. So this is just like you just moving your head. Uh, if you want to orbit around the object, you have to hold Alt and then left click. If you don't hold Alt and just right click, you're just uh, rotating or looking around. Okay. Um, so that's the scene tab. And uh, I highly suggest you working on that because we'll be working a lot with uh, moving the camera. Um, so just make sure you practice that a bit. Uh, the next tab is a game tab. Your game tab is basically what the main camera is looking at. This is what your game is currently looking. Um, but right now, we don't have anything in the scene. That's why it's blank. Well, there is a skybox. Um, but uh, other than that, it's completely blank. On the right-hand side, we have our inspector. An inspector is our properties of an object. So for example, if I click on the left-hand side, I click on the camera. Then on the right-hand side, on my inspector, I now have my components. Okay? My components, the first one I have is called the transform transforms every object that you have on your scene should have a transform because uh, they will tell you where they live in the world. So here, uh, hopefully you know your X, Y, Z axis is because we are dealing with 3D. So we have X, Y, Z. Um, for example, here the camera, the camera is at 0, 1, negative 10. Um, so that's its position in the world. And then we have rotation, basically where the, where the object, how is the object or, or rotated. Um, and then scale, how big the object is how big the object is. Uh, then we have our camera. Our camera component just um, controls uh, camera or, uh, camera stuff. <laughs> um, the biggest one uh, you have to uh, remember um, uh, change is this one, or is this uh, projective projection? It says um, there's two options called perspective and orthographic. Perspective is three, it's used for 3D and depth. Um, so it's kind of like us, where if anything that's far away looks small, anything that's very close looks big. So for example, like your thumb, if you put your thumb like close to your eye, right, your thumb will appear big, right, compared to like, let's just say your monitor or, um, you know, anything that's like in the distance, but anything in the distance will appear tiny compared to things that are in the front. So that's what perspective is. Orthographic is more for 2D or isometric games, so kind of like your regular like 2D games uh, you play on the arcade or isometric games. Uh, then we have our audio listener. We're not going to deal with audio today, uh, but no, that's there. You can play music, sounds, um, <clears throat> and other, other, yeah, just sounds. And then lastly, in the bottom, we have a project panel. In our project, we have all our basic components, uh, where, where we're going to put all our basic components, so materials, colors, models, folders uh, for scripts, scripts, and uh, so on and so forth. We have all the raw assets down here. After we have that, we can put them into the scene and then start manipulating their properties. OK, so that's uh, the basic tutorial of <clears throat> what you see here in the window. Um, so we're mainly going to be in the scene tab to edit your stuff. Now, this one, um, this project will require you to, will, will require your computer to uh, generate light. So if you don't have light enabled, uh, look at my screen and go all the way down, down right, right here. <clears throat> it should say auto generate lighting on. Double click it. Once you double click it, um, this thing will pop up, OK? And then down here, there's an option. There's a check mark. Uh, you see where my mouse is? There's a small check mark that says auto-generate. Make sure it's on, OK? If you turn it off, then 
your scene will be your scene's going to turn dark and it's not going to show its real color. So just make sure you have auto generate on. Okay. All right. So now that's out of the way, um, let's get to the big part. Uh, the main the main part. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to work with terrains. So luckily, Unity uh, has a cool feature where you can make your own kind of map, um, and it's called a terrain. So uh, right click here on the left hand side, or click on game object up here, whichever one's easier for you. And then we're going to go to 3D, and then we're going to look for terrain. Okay, and click on it. So game object, 3D object, and then terrain. Once you have that, this uh, this big thing will pop up. If you zoom out, it's gonna start. It'll turn a little bit blue, but that's just because it's trying to render. Um, but if you zoom in, then everything's gonna be like a. In my in mine, it's a checkered, um, but uh, on yours, it might be a little bit different. Um, and also, take a look at the down at the bottom right. So at the bottom right, it's now baking. Um, so this is your computer trying to calculate light. Um, if you see my camera, my camera is also. <laughs> now lagging because my computer is doing all this hard work. Um, your computer is also going to start doing hard work, um, so don't freak out if your computer starts uh, starts to s the fan starts working hard. Um, so basically, what's going on here is the the, the CPU, uh, CPU and the GPU are um, basically calculating the light. Where's the light bouncing? Where's the light going and then bouncing and then what is it bouncing off? Unity has two bounces. Um, that's not the best, but uh, that's that's you know okay quality for uh, for you. It's kind of like a medium quality uh, for Unity. Um, so basically, it uh, it lets the light bounce, and then that bounces back, and then it says, okay, did you bounce anything? And then you know all the lights, shadows, and everything else gets calculated. Okay, so uh, let's let that bake. While that bakes, um, we're going to take a look at. Uh, yes, uh, you can change how many bounces it has. Uh, if you go to edit. Uh, project settings, and in the project settings, you have uh, quality. Uh, I think it's here. Did they change it? Okay. Um, so here, there's this is one component that makes it uh, that changes how many bounces. Um, this is something else. Shadows. Yeah, I think it's it's in the light also. So on mine, it has it on ultra settings. Um, so that's also one factor that uh, this is on ultra setting. So then it allows light to it. Um, it it does one light uh, one, every time the light that light bounces. It it uh, it splits into two or four. This one's pixel light count. So then it uh, it, uh, it it hits four more. So that's why mine mine runs a little bit slower because it's an ultra setting. But if you hit low settings, then it, of course the light's gonna bounce less. Um, it's going to be less than the light's going to be less dense, and then the other one is a window. And if I go to general, the general rendering and then light settings, and then here's a light. Oh, so basically, if you double click that thing again, um, let's see. Ah, here you go. So light map, light map settings. It says right here bounces, and it says two bounces. So that's the normal um, normal uh, bounces that the uh, Unity has for lighting. So if you want to change this, of course your computer is going to be, it's going to churn uh, because it has to do a lot of calculations. So if you do none, then of course it's, that's not going to do that much. Anyways, so yours should be close to uh, finishing. Mine says 40 seconds. Um, so let's take a look at the settings on the right hand side. Um, so here we have a transform. Of course, it's where we are. Um, then we have the terrain, uh, the terrain um, uh, component. Uh, so let's. Uh, I'm going to skip this one just for a bit, and then we have the terrain collider. The terrain collider is basically uh, when you start making your shapes, um, your objects that you know you create characters or you create um, objects that roll off cliffs or water or whatever you have. It's going to um, know what kind of collisions it's going to have. So basically, you know, if you have a mountain with a slope, now the character is not able to go through the mountain because now you have a slope. So then it depends on how you configure your character controller. Yeah, uh, if your if your computer is um, it, it's it might take a longer time because you ha you might have different CPUs, um, so that's fine. Don't 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 worry too much about it. Well, yeah, because we won't do we'll, right now. We won't be doing a lot of heavy work. Uh, after it's done, then we'll start doing more heavy work. But for now, let's just leave it there. And then uh, let's go back to the component, the terrain component. The terrain component has all these um, tools. 
The first tool is um, creating a neighbor terrain. So let's just say you want to make a big map. Uh, so if you click on that button, then you'll, you'll get this uh, square. Uh, and in this square, if you click on a, on the edge of the square, it will create a terrain. And that terrain is going to be, um, you know, kind of like fused together. Uh, and then when you paint when you paint over it, then it's going to kind of combine its data. Uh, but we're not going to do that because then that's it's going to be big and your computers are probably not going to be <laughs> happy about that. The next one is the paint, uh, the paint uh, terrain. So this is the most popular tool we're going to use. So this terrain here, we have uh, different options. Raise and lower terrain, uh, it's a good idea if you're trying to do like small increments. If you're doing big increment, if you just hold your mouse, that's going to create a huge kind of like pointy uh, uh, object, and that's not what you want. <laughs> so you just want to create small objects. Uh, then we have paint texture. Paint texture is painting uh, colors on this. Uh, so let's just say you have uh, a grass texture, a, a ground texture, a dirt texture, and you want to paint that in, lava, water, and all that stuff, you can paint it in to kind of make your scene. Uh, look better instead of just white or, in my case, just uh, kind of a grid uh, checkerboard thing. Um, and then the next one is set height. Set height is the one I recommend doing because uh, set height, uh, it just limits how much you can raise or lower the object, um, the terrain, I mean. Uh, and then it, may, it, gives, it gives you better effects. It, gets, uh, it kind of plateaus once you reach your limit. Uh, and that's, that's what I like. I don't like having very pointy, jagged mountains in the middle of nowhere. Um, and then smooth height, if you want to we want to get rid of the jaggedness, so let's just say you're creating a hill and that like upwards thing, it's a very, uh, very jagged. You just use the smooth tool and kind of smooth everything, uh, kind of average all, all the points to kind of have a smooth, um, a smooth, uh, uh, smooth uh, um, connection. And then we finally have stamp terrain. The stamp terrain, if you want something uh, that you like, that you create it, and you want that object to be you know, somewhere else, you just copy that and kind of stamp it uh, everywhere else in the, in the map. Um, we're not going to use this. Um, this is a few. Usually, you want to create more, uh, more varied uh, tech, uh, places Okay, or look at stuff. OK, so hopefully yours is done. If it's not, again, don't worry too much about it, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to calculate again. Uh, so just click on here, uh, set, tech, set height. And then um, the height we're gonna set it is 30, and then we're gonna flatten. Yeah, um, it might rebake, or yeah, it should rebake uh, because it has a new location. Uh, now the reason why we uh, lifted the height is because um, if we're gonna create some sort of valley or some sort of um, yeah, some sort of valley or uh, like an underground thing, well, not not so much tunnels, but just uh, anything that. Uh, instead of going up, it goes down, um, then uh, having it at a higher point and kind of digging, uh, it, it'll work. Uh, you'll see what, what I mean. Because if I have it at zero and I'm trying to dig because I can't go negative, uh, that's, that's the problem. But if I have it at 30 and then I dig on 30, I can, I can still go down, OK? Uh, OK, so then we have our height. Then I'm going to set my height to 50. OK, and then once I have my 50, uh, then down here, we have different brushes. We have a, a, a white circular brush. Then we have soft brushes. So if you've done uh, Photoshop before, this, uh, these brushes will look familiar. Um, but we're just going to stick to a normal big brush. Uh, the brush size, how big you want your, your brush. Um, so I'm going to set it to, to maybe 80. I'm going to set my brush to 80. And my opacity is going to be 100 because I want to fully, uh, you know, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make edges. So uh, what I'm going to do is I hold Alt and then uh, click and to, to orbit around. And I'm going to be facing the, um, the terrain on the, the, I'll be looking at the terrain from the top. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I just hold over my uh, terrain and you see a blue circle. And that blue circle is basically telling you where it's going to paint. So now if you click and drag that object, you start seeing like a shadow coming up. Uh, like an edge. So that means your terrain is now being lifted. So now if I zoom in here, you see how now I created a kind of like a ridge here. So now I click and drag and then my ridge uh, goes up. Okay. And then the whole purpose of this is just to create a boundary in your world so you don't fall off. Um, usually when uh, you're making terrains, you, or usually when you have like a real game, uh, you have a uh, big, um, big terrain so the player doesn't, uh, you know, 
say, hey, I can't get out. Or you do have that occasional block where like, ah, you can't walk through here. Uh, and that's where the map ends. <clears throat> but in this case, our, our map is ending here at the edges. It should look something like this. Um, after we set the opacity, uh, you just click and drag on the on the on the terrain. So uh, just click and drag your terrain, and then your terrain should start uh, going up. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small river. Uh, so I'm going to bring my brush to maybe maybe eighty is fine. Maybe yeah, actually eighty is fine. Uh, and instead, what do you mean I got weird and I got kicked out? You have to remake it. Okay, just remake it. Um, if it turns, if your terrain starts getting weird, like uh, starts flashing black and white colors, uh, that's okay. Or turns pink, uh, that's fine. Uh, that just means your computer is uh, is trying to render all that uh, that lighting. If it's too much problem, then just uh, click on your baking uh, on your uh, lighting tab and just lower the amount of bounces. Uh, let me see. Just make sure you have the the brush selected, and then the opacity at a um, in this case my my case hundred. Make sure you have set height also. So do you want to share your screen? Maybe I can help you out. So here, um, this height I'm gonna make it twenty. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it twenty five. I want to have twenty five. No, this is thirty, so I'm gonna make it fifteen actually. And then I'm just going to drag this in the middle to kind of make a, a road for the river. Something like that. OK. Yeah, yeah so yeah, share your screen. Yeah, yeah. Did you share your screen? Yeah, here we go. Um, I'm just going to drag it over. OK, I can't drag it over. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to drag it over to the other screen. Unless can, can you see it from here or no? Yeah, yeah, I can see it there. Oh, oh you can see it. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I, I have it right here, and I'm just trying to click and drag, but it's not really working. Um. Let's see. Oh, um, because I think you set your height to 50. Um, oh. So do this. Yeah, change that to 30 and flatten all. All right, yeah, OK. And then say, change it to 50. OK, don't flatten. Don't, 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 don't press it. Don't press it. Now you can click on your, uh, your object. Because, uh, yeah, click in, yeah. Gotcha. The reason why the reason why that was happening is because you flattened everything at fifty and you're drawing at fifty, so there's nothing that's happened. There's nothing ah, happening. But see, now that you flattened at thirty, now you're uh, bringing everything at fifty. So okay. now you're able to see that change. So should I just be clicking and dragging around the edge and just sort of yeah, just the like... edges. Yeah, just make like a like a boundary so the okay. player doesn't fall off. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And Molly, you had a yeah. Share your screen, Molly. Um, let me see your presentation, Molly. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. Um, so yeah, so you have the same problem as him. Um, so just click on height and then change it to thirty. Um, uh, the settings, yeah, change it to thirty. Yeah, and then click on flatten all. Okay, and now change it to fifty. Yeah. Okay, and now I'll start painting on the left. Yeah. Click and drag. There you go. Now you're able to paint on that. Okay. There you go. Now it's working.
Oh, Parchar. Hi, Fernando. How's it going? Good. I uh, fire up Unity and uh, let's get started. Parchar, yeah, do I just... Sorry? What happened? Why are you late? Uh, I completely forgot. I it just I just blanked. <laughs> okay, so send me your phone number. I will uh, be your alarm. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome. Yeah, sorry. Hey. And so how do you make the river go down, like erode the terrain? Um, to erode the terrain, um, I set the, the height to be 15 and just paint it over. Oh, so it's, so is it supposed to be whatever height's lower than? Yeah, yeah. So remember, our height right now is 30. Yeah, so this is 30. So any uh, if you want to go lower, just do a number less than 30. Yeah, um, I have Unity loaded up, so... Just start a new project in uh, 3D. Yeah, I already have the projects set up. Oh, you already... Uh, uh, okay, so what we did is just... Hello? Bang. Wait, what? Sorry, I think you cut out. Or was, it might have just been me. Okay, uh, <laughs> so uh, click on ga uh, Game Object, and then 3D Object. Yeah. And then Terrain. Okay. Okay, and then this uh, white uh, square should pop up. Yeah. Okay, so just click on that white square. Wait, I have it as like a check. A check like, mark, a checkerboard. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's uh, on the right hand side. Uh, you have terrain, and then you have uh, your your tools. So just click on the paint brush. Okay. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna set height. So just click on set height. On one of the the drop down uh, options. Okay. To so we're gonna do it. No, we're gonna set it to thirty first. So click on thirty. Okay. And we type thirty, and then click on flatten. Flatten tile or flatten all. Flatten all. Yeah. Uh, Molly, uh, what you need to do is you need to change the number to fifteen, um, and then you can start painting. That's how you um, uh, erode uh, the the map or bring down the, the, the middle part. OK. Um, so yeah, so once you hit it 30, um, then uh, change it to 50. Okay. Change do not, height to 50? Yeah, yeah, change height to 50. Do not flatten. OK, yeah. so just change it to 50. OK, now uh, click on your settings, your brush size. Uh, your brush size, I change it to 80, and then opacity to 100. Brush size, where is that? It's right below the what you were working on. The, where you're changing the numbers. Oh, bursts. Okay, okay, yeah. To 50 yeah. or? Yeah, I changed uh, 80. I put 80. Okay. And then opacity 100. Okay. And then once you have that, um, go around the corner and then uh, click and drag. Uh, click and drag around the corner uh, to kind of make a um, kind of a border. In drag, okay. You see it going up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what you gotta do. So just click and drag your corner, um, and then uh, and look at my video. It's like so laggy. You can see myself like one minute. Because <laughs> 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 like uh, when you're doing this, uh, your computer is going to uh, do some rendering, some light yeah. calculations. Uh, so my computer was on super high quality. <laughs> uh -huh. And then that's why um, the buffer uh, uh, has like one minute of my videos. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so that's why I don't know. Or is it just my computer, maybe? Uh, 
No, it's back I, to normal. Uh, now it's back to normal. OK. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so just make a border around the corner. Um, and just uh, as 50. So you should, it should, see, it should uh, look something like this. And then in the middle, um, change your number to 15 and then carve out in the middle. Uh, just kind of like a, because that's going to be our river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then your map should look something like this. Does anyone else have questions? I guess that's a no. Okay. So uh, while everyone uh, everyone is still working on this, um, what we're gonna do is we're now going to add assets from the asset store. Wait. So um, I should I should okay. just I should fill up the whole thing and just make a line through the middle. Mm, no, no, no. All you do is just change your height to fifteen, mm -hmm. and then just uh, just click and drag, and it should carve it out because it's now. Because everything is at 30, and then you're setting it to 15, so then it, it uh, depresses it. OK. That's the brush size? No, 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 the height, right? No, the height, yeah. You finish with the corner, with, with, the, um, with the edge, right? Yeah, I finished the border. OK. Yeah, and in the middle, just, uh, just make a line. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I got it. OK, perfect. OK, so while that, uh, that is working, if you're still um, generating the light, that's fine. Uh, if you want to reduce the time, just uh, so it doesn't bother too much, bother you too much your computer, just double click here on the on the on the auto generate, and just click on bounces instead of two. Just click on one, so it does one bounce. Um, w after you do that, go to edit, project settings, and then uh, you should see quality. When you click on quality, just click on low, um, and it should uh, reduce the amount of uh, uh, how much uh, light and uh, the shadow calculation. So that should make your computer render uh, or do the rendering a little faster. That's if you want. If you like it how it is, that's fine. All right, uh, so the next thing is we're going to go to the asset store. So this is uh, something new um, because uh, creating our own assets takes a long time. Um, if you're an artist, of course, you're welcome to do your own stuff. Uh, you can do your own 3D modeling, your own textures, your own painting. Uh, again, but that's a completely new uh, other ball game uh, that uh, <laughs> But this is game making, so we have all the pieces, and we just kind of put everything together. OK, so in the asset store, um, you look for uh, terrain textures. Okay, just uh, type in terrain textures. And um, it should be the first one. It says ALP83810. Uh, and just uh, download it. So just click on it. And then uh, just click in, uh, download. And then once it's downloaded, import. If it tells you to sign in, just sign in with your Google account, the account you logged in with, uh, with Unity. Um, once you do that, just click on Import, and then this little uh, decompressing package will come up, and you should see something like this. Okay. Once you have this, just click on Import, and then a new folder will come up. Okay. Just depending on the speed of the download and the speed of, uh, of your computer, um, just you'll, you'll wait for a couple minutes. OK. So it's search and then? Terrain textures. OK. Mine's, mine opens up a separate Google Chrome window. How do you get it to, um, to search it within? Sorry, what was that? You, you a, sec a separate window? Yeah, it opens a Chrome window. Oh, if you if it opens to the Chrome like uh, the actual website, then just uh, sign in with your account and just look for Terrain Textures, and you should be able to import. If you want, you can share your screen and I can walk you through it. Okay. Terrain Textures. Yes. And it's by Alp eight three one zero. Wow, this is pretty slow. Yeah, I'm assuming your lights are baking. That's why it's uh, pretty slow. Uh-huh. Do I just click Add to My Assets? Yeah, just add to your assets, mm -hmm, and it should launch uh, Unity. Why can't I download it? You can't download it? No, it just took like a minute to load. Yeah, just give it a couple seconds. Maybe it's still loading. Well, 
when you have it successfully uh, downloaded, you should see something like this. It says terrain textures uh, pack free. <laughs> okay, looks like your computers are all lagging out. Okay, I'll give you guys a couple a couple minutes. <laughs> Yeah, it went in this thing called package manager. Yeah. Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah. And just click on import everything. Import. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah, import. And just uh, make sure you have this uh, when you when everything is done. You should see something a folder called terrain textures p, um, pack free. So make sure you have this uh, on your uh, where is on your screen. Oh, uh, once it's done loading. It, it's not doing anything. Can you share your screen so I can see what's going on? Uh, I'm calling on a different computer, so I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you can't share it on that computer? or Not on the one with the Unity. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, if I, 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 I don't know. What does it say? It just says open in Unity. And, and then can you click on open in Unity? I did. And it put it in this thing called package manager and I see um, like description size and stuff. Oh, does it look something like this? Uh, take a look at my screen. Um, uh, something like this, um, and this is like import in the check marks. Um, no, I never saw that window. What window are you talking about? The, the small one. That the you small just one. <laughs> um, yeah, just uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm. I need to see the screen. Uh, so mine says package manager. There's a window called package manager, and it there's a list of packages. And like when I oh something, on one, oh something like this, oh, this like this. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're in the wrong one. That's not what we want. Um. Yeah, this is not the one we want, huh? Because this is something. This is other things. Um, so can you go back to the window and is it in, you clicked on add to unity? Uh, is it op open in unity? Yeah. Open in unity. Okay. If you click that, that, that opens that window. Yeah. It opens pack. It opens the same thing. Okay. You know what? Do this. Uh, I'm going to share a folder uh, on Google drive uh, and just download it from there. Okay. Just get that little thing open. Okay. Um, everyone else, I also would like you guys to go to this um, on this folder, and I need you guys to download uh, a script called Player Movement. Um, so everyone should download that uh, that script. It's what we worked on uh, last week, uh, just for the player to move, so we can explore the land. Um, okay. So there's a link. Just click on it, and just go to that um, go to that folder, um, and then. Everyone should download the player movement. And then Edward, you should download the folder. It's called Terrain Textures Pack Free. Just right click and download it. Wait, I think it's, is it ready? Uh, I think it's still uploading. Ah.
Um, after we do the script, um, well, after you download the terrain and the script, um, what you can do is you can spend some time on uh, painting the whole scene. Uh, so here, uh, we're going to click on Paint. And instead of Set Height, we're going to click on Paint Texture. And click on Edit, and then Add Layer. And then this little, sorry, not Add Layer, Create Layer. Create Layer. And this thing pops up. And then you should see the grass in there. So just click on your grass. And then by default, it's going to paint everything green uh, because that's your only texture. And just uh, create another layer. And then uh, you have uh, only five textures, um, but that should work for now. Um, and then just select the other. Uh, you just click on the other texture. You see where there's a little blue line in the bottom. And just um, you can change the, the settings in the bottom. So you can make a smaller brush and smaller opacity. And then uh, here you can paint. And then when you paint, it kind of starts uh, to kind of take over um, the other paint that you have, uh, the other uh, texture that you have. And of course, just let it bake. In my case, uh, it's now baking uh, the scene. Now you can uh, play around with the uh, different uh, brushes to have different effects. Wait, how do we get to create a uh, layer again? We said edit and then. Oh, yeah, just click on the paintbrush, click on paint textures. Edit mm -hmm. terrain layers and just create layer. Oh, OK, OK. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Yeah. Uh, so did you get it to download, Edward? Download what? <laughs> the terrain textures. Oh. Wait, how do you, how, how do you access the Google Drive? So. Uh, I just gave you the link on the chat. So just click on the link on the okay. chat. And then uh, download terrain textures. Just right click and then download. Oh, wait, Fernando. Wait, so I can't get the terrain layer to come up. You got a new brush, right? Mm, what? No. Uh, just click on paint texture. So you click on the brush, right? Yeah, and then uh, click on uh, on the um, drop down. Click on paint texture. Okay, and then there there should be a little gear and it says edit terrain layers, and then create a layer. Wait, edit terrain layer. Where is that again? Uh, it's right below. Or uh, okay, I see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I just skip <laughs> it. Yeah. And then how do I import it? I mean, click on edit and then uh, create layer. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you should see the layers there. Mm -hmm. Why is this still off? <sighs> Wait, and we should add how many layers? Um, as much as you want. Again, it's you're playing around with the with the layers. Mm -hmm. Just be careful if you uh um if you put too much layers, then your computer's gonna do more calculation. Uh, but I mean that's normal. Yeah. And you don't have to draw it over anything, right? What do you mean? Like you don't have to go and paint over everything with the layers? No. Because mine, it, it's just green, right? There's not any texture to it yet. It just looks like that. Yeah. OK. Breathing, man.
Okay. So uh, whatever you have, that's fine. Uh, again, um, it's, this is more artistic stuff, uh, so you can um, spend a lot of time trying to make your own scene uh, with textures. Uh, again, you're not limited to these textures. These textures are just the ones, uh, there's just four, five textures. Um, but if you go here uh, on your spare time, once we're done with this, you guys can go here. Uh, let's see. Um, you just look for terrain textures on Google, terrain texture. Uh, what is it called? Ah, uh, here you go. Uh, it's from Open Game Art, uh, the website Open Game Art. So if you go to this one, this is where I usually get my stuff. But this stuff is that's pretty big. Uh, so uh, here, so you have all these uh, all these um, terrains that you can uh, use. So it has uh, like rock, uh, different kinds of rocks, moss, sand. Um, well, this page is loading slow. Mm. Yeah, you have lava, um, different kinds of sand, different types what of grass, heck? and things like that. So um, you can go to this website when you're done. Um, it's, it's by uh, Open Game Art, um, and then look for terrain textures, and then uh, this so you can download it. You could all you have to do is just download them and just drag them into Unity, and then exactly what you did with uh, edit, create layer, you just create the layers and just paint it, uh, paint over them. Okay. The next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is, uh, again, whatever you have painted, that's fine. Uh, you can spend more time uh, later uh, painting this stuff. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, oh, it's actually, let me just check if everyone's OK. <laughs> I'm assuming everyone's OK. Adrian, everything OK? Yeah. Molly, everything OK? Or is this stuff still crashing? Yeah, I'm fine. OK. I'm uh, chill. Gavin? Really? Okay, you, can, you guys are OK, um, Gavin and Edward? I'm chill, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just downloaded. Uh, yeah, my 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 color like changed. I don't know what happened. It the changed to like bl black and gray. Black and gray. That's not good. Um, can you share your screen? I can. I can help you. Out. Yes. Well, I just drag the whole zip file into the. Unit. No, you have to extract everything. So what okay. I suggest you doing is uh, right clicking on your thing uh, on your um, uh, on the gray area here and just click on Show and Explorer. And then when you show an explorer, um, you should have where all the files are. Oh, but you're using are you using Mac? Me? Yeah. No Windows. Oh, okay, good, good. Uh, yeah, so just right click, show an explorer, then double click on assets, and then there's where you click and drag your stuff. So make sure you extract everything. It should it should be a zip file, so it should be a Windows should automatically do it for you. Um, so make sure you click and drag it out. Or when you open up the, the page, it should say um, uh, extract stuff and just extract it into the asset folder of your uh, of your game. It. Okay, cool. All right, let me take a look at yours, Parashar. Yeah. All right, let's see. So, like, it was great. Uh, it was the green earlier, and then everything just dipped. <laughs> okay, uh, it looks like one of your paints uh, got removed. So, click on edit terrain layer. No, 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 no. It's right there. Edit, yeah. Create layer. Yeah, and just select one of the grasses. Yeah, just double click it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's then what, what? What's what? And then you click on edit train layers again, and then create. Mm -hmm. And then uh, look for, I don't know, look for the rock one, the stone. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then you just click on the stone. Yeah, and then you can start painting on it. Yeah. What the heck? Mm -hmm. So you can uh, change, uh, you can mess around with the opacity. So click on the little arrow where it says um, default terrain. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Did you undo? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, make uh, sure also, you're careful with Yeah, also uh -huh. the auto generate, it, it's not auto generating for some reason. Or is it? Uh, oh, uh, it is generating the light. Look, uh, cl close it. Okay, on the like, bottom right. Keep saying this. Yeah, yeah. Every time you paint, anytime you change the the um, the, the terrain, uh, that is gonna go back to you know a high number. So right now that you're not well, you're gonna start doing more stuff. Uh, it's gonna go back to like six, seven minutes. So if you leave your computer okay. idle for another six, seven minutes, then it's gonna show you the done product. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, um, so let's uh, let's move on, guys, because uh, this thing does take uh, another 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 while. Um, click on, go back to asset store. Oh, sorry, let me uh, go back to presenting my screen. Okay, so um, uh, one minute, guys. Sorry, let me uh, 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 hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, oh, my camera doesn't turn off. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, go back. Go back to the asset store. Once you go to the asset store, uh, we're gonna search for uh, water. Or sorry, uh, you know what? No, let's first do um, particles. So type in particles. Okay. And then, uh, of course, we don't want to pay for stuff yet. Uh, so just click on uh, sort by, and it says relevance. Uh, click on price low to high. And when you find that, look for the Unity version of it. And it says times five. So actually, hold on. Let me see if I can make it better search. Is it the Unicorn? Uh, sorry, the Unity Particle Pack, or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called yeah. It's called Unity Particle Pack times five, five times five, okay. and then the X. Yeah, make sure you download this one. So if you're seeing my screen, it's this one. It says Unity Particle Pack five. So just um, click on it and just download. In my case, I already downloaded it. Just click on Import, and then you should be able to import. And uh, yeah, just click on Import everything. Okay, you have to just give it a, a, a while to uh, import all this stuff. And let me know, Edward, if you have a problem with uh, with uh, with the Unity Store again. Yeah, mine just doesn't say import; it just says open Unity. But your this the asset store keeps throwing you uh to what to the um, to the Google to Google or yeah, Google it, Chrome, it, it opens a new Chrome window and. That's interesting. What version of Unity are you working with? It it says. Can you click on the help and then about zero two zero dot one dot zero b seven? Sorry, say that one more time. Two zero two zero dot one dot zero b seven dot three five five six. Hmm. So it's a beta version. Mm -hmm. and it's the newest one. Let's see. Uh, maybe they changed it. Uh, let me try to do it with you. Okay. So what you're seeing in my screen is what you're seeing, right? Uh, yeah. So you have a Google page, and then uh, it's a particle um, community. And then you should see something like this, right? It's five times yes. back. OK. Yeah. So uh, do that. And then you have add to my assets, right? Yeah. And then when I click it, it becomes um, okay. well, sign open in. Unity. OK, so I click on open Unity. And then you say open URL, open Unity .karma. Yeah. yeah. And, and then it just goes to this window. Package manager. That's weird. Mine didn't open that. Let me uh, try downloading something else. If that is already. Uh... Right. Already downloaded this. Let me download something else. Uh... Download this one.
Uh, you mean like you already downloaded the particle packs? If you already downloaded the particle packs, um, <clears throat> you go to project. It should uh, you should have something called effect example, uh, and in there the one we want is water. So just click on water effects, prefabs, and then uh, the one we want is waterfall uh, um, because we want to have some sort of waterfall. Uh, well, I want some sort of waterfall. Uh, so you can experiment around with the, this kind of uh, effects. Um, so if you just click and drag, um, you'll see, well, this is a very tiny waterfall. Let me uh, make a bigger one. So we can drag this one out here. Yeah. Yeah, so now in your scene, you should have something like this, where you have a, a like waterfall on your on your game. I will edit the, the height of this, um, but let me just fix Edward's problem. Um, So just make sure you go into a folder called prefab. So uh, Edward, uh, one thing. Uh, so do you yeah. have this uh, this little uh, tab called uh, Asset Store? Mm -hmm. I have it open. It says the Asset Store has moved, and search. There's a button called Search Online. Oh wait, so I have this button called download in the package manager. Do I click that? Yeah, try to click that. Okay. It's, it's downloading stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's weird because you got the newest, the, the brand, brand new version. Um, yeah, usually I don't download that kind of stuff. So. Okay, now I can. Okay, now I can import it. All right. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it looks like uh, you got it. All right. Mm. All right, guys. Um, oh, sorry yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, wait, you for? Yeah. yeah. Uh, my half of my like uh terrain seems has just gone black. Or it looks like it's like really pixely. Should uh, I just, just I show you. Just yeah, um, if you have at uh, the bottom right, it says baking and it says ETA a number. Um, that means you're seeing oh. baking. Just give it a couple seconds. Oh, um, oh, oh yeah, it's yeah. just it says baking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If All it right. says baking, you just have to let it load. Gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, someone had a question. Wait, why is what my thing mean? only left with the waterfall? Uh, did you accidentally delete your terrain? It's just like blue. And with the waterfall, that's all. Blue with your waterfall? Mm. Yeah, the whole thing is gone. Okay, um, let me answer Adrian's uh, question first. Adrian, uh, once you have, once you downloaded the water, uh, I mean the, the particle stuff, go to effect example. So it's the first folder. And inside there, you have uh, water effects. Um, I think mine has a problem. Wait, is it supposed to say like, Effect something? Yeah, it should say effect examples. Oh, okay. That's the right folder? Yeah, open it up, and then you have another folder called water effects. Water effects? Yeah. And inside there, uh, there's prefabs. Prefabs? Mm -hmm. And then the one we're looking for is the last one. Uh, no, it's not the last one, sorry. It's second to last. It's called waterfall effect. Just click and drag it into the scene, and it should uh, pop up. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Molly, uh, can you share your screen so I can see what's going on? Oh, I got it. I got it. 
Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, it just went cool. into a folder. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, all right. So everyone else, um, so let's uh, let's continue with our um, well, with this. Um, so the next thing we're going to download are water and trees. So we'll just let this bake. Uh, let's go back to the asset store, and we're going to look for uh, water. Okay. And of course, we're going to uh, change this from low to high, and we're going to look for uh, this one. It's called a uh, Nicholas. Uh, this this a love water shader so that's a shader we need uh just click on this one and uh it should have palm trees and then uh kind of like dirt in the middle kind of like a small island Is and just import import it mvjob water shader. yeah yeah that's the one we need yeah and then import everything again And once that's imported, um, let's see, mine's still importing. And we're gonna look for trees so we can start putting trees on our on our game. Um, did you download the stuff, uh, Molly? Did you download Is the- Is this what we used to put the waterfalls in? Oh, sorry, what was that? Is the water shader what we use to put the waterfalls in? No, the water shader is uh, for reflectivity um, and then uh, movement of the water um, because we can't really simulate, you know, water. So then, what the terrain, uh, what the um, what the shader does, it moves it left and right, kind of create, create, create that water effect. How do you create the waterfall? To create the waterfall, okay. Uh, so let's go back. Um, so both Molly, both Molly, and uh, you have the same question. Uh, so um, on one of, on your main asset folder down here, it says effect examples. Do you see it? Asset folder. Uh, yeah. Okay. So just double click that effect example. Okay. Okay. And then look for water effects. It should be the fourth to last uh, object. It's a se the second to last uh, folder. Okay. This is water effects. Yeah. And then inside there's a prefab prefabs folder. Yes. Open it oh, up. Oh, waterfall effect. Okay. Yeah, and just uh, click and drag your waterfall effect into your scene, uh, and then you can put it uh, anywhere you want. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, once you have, try. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so once you have that, uh, import your shader. Um, I think I already imported it. Did I just import it? Okay, I already imported it. Okay, so once you have your water shader, uh, let's uh, look for um, trees. So uh, we're just gonna type in uh, trees. And then this trees, uh, we, again, we're gonna go from low to high. And um, here you're free to choose any uh, tr uh, trees that look um, look good. I'm gonna click on this one where it says a uh, low poly tree uh, by broken vector. Okay, and then download that one. Okay. Do we have to download the water shader thing? Yeah, make sure you have the water shader on. Oh. The tree looks really good. The tree? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> it looks like it's from a really famous game or something. Yeah, I, again, these are all free assets, so I mean, they, they probably ripped it off a game and put Did it in you? there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, just make sure you have all that downloaded. Okay, and then... Um, once you have the water and the trees, uh, let's see. Wait, which pack is the water shade or thing? Okay, so on the water shader, uh, if you're done, if you're done downloading the water shader, uh, it's called. Oh, did you download it or you haven't downloaded? Well, what it? is it called? I don't know what it's called. It's just uh, so on the asset store. You just type in water, um, and then it's called the uh, something hashtag. Or sorry, make sure you uh, sort from low to high. And it's this one. It's called a uh, Nicholas uh, Veselov, and it has a uh, hashtag NV job. Oh, you see wait. it? So there's a filter. So the no no no. Did you did you download it? Um, looking for it. Oh, the 
Hashtag NVJOB thing. Yeah, yeah, download, download that. Is there a way to make the waterfall wider? Mm, wider, yes. Again, we're gonna we're gonna edit all this all these properties. Let's just download the right trees right. and then the water. Once you have, if you have uh, these two objects done, uh, what you can do is uh, just double click on the NV job water, um, and then go to example and prefabs, and in there you have water type. So you can just click on uh, either one, um, whichever one looks better to you. Uh, so just click and drag, and then you should have this giant circle that pops up. Um, oh, this one's for reflectivity. Sorry, it's the water type. The second, the uh, second, the last. So just click and drag this, and then uh, you should have uh, this the giant circle. So now when you bring it up, you should have the the water pop up, not popping up. Why is it not popping up? There you go. Now, when you put this here and you zoom in. Bring the water up just a bit. Oh, it has a problem with the. Come on, what's going on? Oh, my package is not updated. If it's not showing the water type, if I, I'm just seeing like the big circle, is that? Okay, um, I think you have the same problem as I do. Um, can uh, you click on console uh, right here? You see where uh, it says console? Yeah. Yeah, um, is there red exclamation or exclamation marks with the red uh, like octagon? Yeah, it says yeah. like uh, the GUID conflicts with something. Uh, no, that's not the one. Um, Mine says post processing. Something about post processing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. So that's a problem. Um. So just give me a moment. Gotcha. Yeah. Wait. So I just got a big, huge circle of water. In my yeah. That, just drag it out. That huge circle of water is not going to pop up because I think everyone has the same problem where, uh, because we're using an older version of uh of uh post processing. Uh, that's why it's not the uh, it's not current. So let let me uh, I'll show you guys the the solution right now. Does editor scene manager does not? Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Definition for. Um, so do I just delete it? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we need to fix that problem. Okay, I think this uh, this fixes it. Just one moment. Yep. Okay. Perfect. It did fix it. Now I have water. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the solution for this um, is um, go to window. So everyone do this. Um, so go to window and then package manager. Okay, and inside package manager, look for uh, post processing. So scroll down and then look for post processing, and then it should say two point zero something. Um, and just it says update. Just click on update. I have this thing called post processing stack. Yeah. No, just post processing. We're not using the stack. Okay. And uh, I don't have. I think I need to download. <clears throat> Wait, you don't have the this. Oh, I think yours. Okay, since you're using a new version, maybe they did rename it to stack. Um, they yeah, try updating it. It should say two point one point seven. 
Is it just named post processing? It should just be called post processing, yeah. I'm not seeing it on the store. Just just update the stack one. Stack one? Okay. Yeah. Again, the stack one, can you update it? I know there's no button that says update. Oh, okay. I don't think I imported it, so I'm gonna. Uh, Fernando, how do you import every, like how do you get the water type to the waterfall effect to actually come into the? What was that? The, how do you get what? How do you bring the water type to the waterfall effect into the, I have everything downloaded, I just can't figure that out. Oh, okay. So for the water, uh, to um, grab the water, just look for uh, the NV job folder, open it up, and then go to example. And inside example, you have prefabs. And then there you have two types of water types. You have um, you have a uh, water type one and two, I think. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, type one and two. Yeah, and you can select what uh, you know what water do you like. I think one water is uh, for me. One water is bluer than the other. Yeah. The other one's like a darker. Uh, so you can just click and drag it out. Okay. And just make sure it's if it, if yours just shows a giant circle, that means you have to update your packages. That's what oh, everyone else had to do. Like, how do you do the water? How do you do what? The water. Mm, I mean, how did I uh, like put the water in? Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I said, uh, go through the folder called NV job and then example scenes and prefabs. What? OK, um, look at my screen. OK, um, so here there's a folder called NV job, right? Okay. And just double click it and then go to examples, double click it, and then go to prefabs, double click it. And then in there, there's two things called water type one and water type two. I tried to click on the waterfall thing from the effects, and then everything just went away. Nice. Uh, do you want to share your screen? No, wait. I, I, there was some, I don't know how to get the waterfall into the Your waterfall should already be there. Um, if you already dragged it. Um, OK, this is one thing for you guys. Um, so if you click, uh, click on your waterfall, if you drag your waterfall and you know it's there, for example, on the left-hand side, you see how I say, it says waterfall effect? Just click on it, and it turns on. The reason why it doesn't load because you're not in the game, so it doesn't have to play all the time. Once you play the game, then of course it loads. Um, if it's still stop, um, here this particle effect that says play, restart, or stop. Just click on play, and then the waterfall should restart. If you don't have the waterfall, then just look for the waterfall again. Uh, go to effects, examples, water effects, and prefabs, and then just click on click and drag your water effect, uh, your uh, waterfall out. Okay. D uh, does that work help you or? Yeah, yeah, it's working. Yeah. yeah. I updated. Did you update? Uh, what do you mean update? Oh, uh, I'm talking about Ga I'm talking about Gavin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Did you update um the? Um, oh yeah, post, I did. I'm trying to help post post Adrian. Ah uh, ah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't able to see that. Um, uh, I was probably. Uh. Yeah. Um. Okay, uh, Adrian, did you um did you update your stuff yet? Okay, I guess I guess you were off. Um, okay, so take a look at my screen. <clears throat> okay, to update, just click on Window, and then go to Package Manager. Uh, okay. Okay, so once you go inside Package Manager, look for uh, Post Processing. So scroll down until you see Post Processing. Yeah. 
And then um, it should say update and just update it. Um, I don't see update. What does it say? Is it what version does it say? Two point zero point three. It should say update. Uh, the thing needs to be updated. Uh, um, there's a there's a big button that says update. I don't see any big button that says. Um, oh, can you? At the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, Is it updating? I think so. Okay. Okay, just let it update. Okay, so once you have that, um, you guys should have something similar like this, where you have water, um, and then you have your uh, your waterfall. So if you want to see your thing in action, um, let's click on the camera. <clears throat> so your camera should be right here. It should go back to zero 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 and zero zero zero. So you should have, your camera should be something like this. I think it's one and negative ten. Okay, uh, and then when you click on your camera on the left hand side on your hierarchy, it should be on the corner of your scene. Okay. Um, so to see everything in action, uh, click and drag your camera. So if you, um, on the left-hand side, click on your camera. If, it, if the camera shows up and these uh, three arrows don't show up, press the W key. The W key is to move. Or press this key up here. Uh, you see the little arrow next to the hand that says Move Tool. And then these handles should pop up. Once these handles pop up, um, you can click on these little squares. You see how there's a green square here? I click on it, and it's locked into one plane. So just click and drag this. Um, like in a corner, something like this. Um, now, if you rotate around, um, you see that it's, it's underground. So just pull it up. You know, uh, move the up key. Uh, use the up um, arrow to pull it up, and then just bring it back, something like this, somewhere around here, and then rotate it. You know, so you use the rotate tool that's next to the move tool, or just press E, and then click on the green um, the green axis, and it should rotate. And then you should be able to see your uh, your um, your waterfall. And then just, in my case, just pull it out for a bit and then look down, rotate down, something like this. And then just press play. And when you press play, and now you should see your water and your waterfall um, working together because your game is now playing. Now, if you want your water to have different speed or different effects, click on your water. Um, and in your water, you have um, here on the right hand side, you have um, these uh, properties. So you can uh, change the, it says right here, UV rotate speed and UV rotate speed one. Uh, so here, change it. Uh, it was point, I think with point 0.5 or point 0.4. I changed it to one. So now the water is a little um, faster. If you want it faster, you can change to a bigger number. And then, of course, uh, your water will look like it's uh, going faster. OK? Hey, does anyone need help uh, here? Does uh, everyone get it? Um. Uh, mine keeps like every single time that I try to edit something, it just keeps glitching out from like the train goes from like a black to a green to a black. Mm, can you share your screen so I can see what you're talking about? Yeah. Ow. Adrian, are you able to see your water? Yeah. Okay, perfect. See, I, I can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Okay. So like, like it just went away again. I don't know what keeps happening. Like this, like so random areas keep getting like black. Oh, okay. The re reason why it random areas keep getting black, uh, because take a look at your uh, generate uh, the baking, on the bottom right. Yeah. Yeah, it says baking, and then that's the reason why it's uh it's going slow. Or I mean, that's that's that black part randomly appears. So you have to let it. You have you have to let your computer idle for like ten minutes, uh, for the whole mm -hmm. computer to completely you know finish rendering. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, but you can continue editing your stuff. But just don't don't play around with your terrain. Like don't don't change anything in your terrain, or else it's going yeah. to uh, uh, edit. Oh. It's gonna oh. yeah, change. Yeah, and that. my waterfall just disappeared too. Just click on play. You see, there's a play button right there. Yeah. There you go. And okay, okay, all right. Um, okay, the next the uh, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to plant some trees. Um, so to plant trees, um, we're gonna use our. Uh, hopefully, everyone downloaded the tree stuff uh, from the asset store. So if you didn't, um, go back to the asset store and look for tree. Okay, and then inside tree, make sure you do price low to high. And we're gonna. Uh, I downloaded this one. It says broken vector low poly tree pack. 
uh, just make sure you download it and then install um, import it and then you should have um, you should have it here <clears throat> this folder is called broken vector double click it double click on oh sorry I think you're not seeing my screen let me go back to my screen okay sorry about that okay so uh, back back to the asset store so look for tree sort low to high and then download this one it says uh, broken vector low, uh, low poly tree pack once you download it, then you have this folder called broken vector. Double click it, and then double click low poly uh, tree pack, and then open up prefab folder, and then you should have all the trees that are available in this pack, okay? And now um, what we can do is we can uh, now um, add these stuff to our terrain. So let's go back to our scene. Let's click on our terrain, okay? And now uh, here, instead of the paintbrush, we're now going to click on paint trees, okay? So click on this, um, this option, okay. Now on your uh, on here it says uh, no trees defined, mass place trees, edit trees and refresh. Yeah, if your waterfall disappears, that's fine. Don't worry too much about it because they're particle effects. They're supposed to stop um, because you're not watching them. Um, if you want to see your waterfall play again, just click on your waterfall, like I am waterfall, and just press um, waterfall effect, and just press play, and it should appear. Or just click on it, and it should appear. Again, your waterfall, uh, it, it always goes away because, I mean, you're not seeing it and the game is not playing. So there's no point on using extra RAM on your computer or the, G, the GPU for now. Uh, unless your game is running, then it, it, you know, it plays it constantly. Okay, uh, so again, back to your terrain. Just click on your tree stuff, your pink trees. <clears throat> and we're going to click on edit trees and we're going to add a tree. And then we get uh, this option. It says none game object and then zero bend factor. And it says please assign a tree. Uh, so what you can do is if you have this folder, you can just click and drag your tree up here, or you can click on the little circle that's uh, on the right-hand side. It's like a little, um, what is that called? Like a marksman kind of circle. And then this, uh, this um, window pops up and just look for tree. So just type in tree and it uh, specifies, I mean, uh, you're able to see all the trees. I just select tree. I'm going to select some pine trees. I'm just going to select that tree, double click it and just press add. So now you see a pine tree there. Um, I'm gonna add another tree. Um, I'm gonna add, let's see, and add kind of like a willow tree, this one. Uh, and I'm gonna add one more, maybe a palm tree. It's very diverse uh, amounts of trees. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add this palm tree, okay? I just press add, okay? So once you have it, uh, you now, you can click on each uh, each tree. So I'm gonna click on, you know, the the pine tree. Uh, and then here it tells you brush size and then tree density. How do I add a tree? Um, so again, uh, to add a tree, go to the terrain. So click on your terrain. And instead of paint, we're now gonna click on the tree, pink trees, okay? So just like in my screen, it's the third button. It's the middle of the five, okay? And in there, we click on edit trees and then add tree, okay? And when you add a tree, just click on the little circle and then type tree, sorry, tree, and then uh, the tree should pop up. And just click any tree you like, open up any tree you like. Okay. All right, so once we have this, once um, I chose three trees, so I, uh, let me start planting this uh, tree. So if you click and drag your trees, now you're spawning a bunch of trees. So now if you zoom in, you now have a bunch of trees and that's not what we want. Uh, we want our trees to, um, <laughs> Yeah, to be sparse. Uh, and plus, we want our trees to be a little bit bigger, too, uh, because our trees are pretty small. Uh, so here, it's telling you uh, brush size, tree density, tree height. Um, so we are going to, one, lower our brush size. We're going to switch it to one, so wherever we click, it's only one tree that's going to appear. I mean, you can do more. It's up to you. Uh, but just be careful. The more trees you render, the more the computer has to calculate um, lights and shadows and everything. Um, tree density, uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna make my brush size bigger and my tree density smaller. So I'm gonna make it to maybe 10 or one. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna keep it a one so I can just plant one thing at a time. Uh, tree height, uh, let's make our tree height bigger. So uh, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be varied. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top. So maybe it is small. Okay, by default, I think the trees are small. Uh, let me see if I can change that. 
Um, it doesn't do anything when I paint the trees. Like they won't spawn any. Uh, one moment. Oh, never mind. I, I see it. Never mind. You got it. Yeah, it's just I was too far away to. Yeah, that's a lot. I think the tallest you can get it is two because I'm trying to set tree height to like anything higher than two and it just keeps on resetting it. Yeah, just give me one moment. Um, you're supposed to change the the actual like thing. You're supposed to actually change the actual uh, object on the on the terrain. Um, uh, my yeah. trees are also really small. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm fixing this. No, no, don't don't spawn a bunch of trees. Um, if you want to erase the tree, just hold shift and just hover over it, and it should erase the tree. Uh, okay. Well, when I click it, there's like. A whole bunch of trees. Yeah, don't don't. That's why I said just bring down the the brush size and your density. You have a super big tree. <laughs> um, the tree should be very tiny, like ours. Um, well, let me change the settings for this. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then edit at tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> the way to make this uh, bigger, uh, the tree bigger. Um, so on your uh, folder, so everyone, uh, look look at look at my screen. So um, here on your folder, uh, if you go to broken vector and then low poly uh, tree pack, uh, instead of going to prefabs, go to models. Okay. Just double click on models, okay? And these are all the raw models. So these are the untextured models. These are the, the ones the person designed it. So just click on the model you like, okay? And then here, um, you can change, it says scale factor. Just change it to um, a bigger number. I changed it to 10. I think 10 looks pretty uh, pretty good for a tree. If you want it bigger, of course, you can change the, the number to a higher number. The higher note you go, the bigger the tree is gonna be. Uh, I think by default it was 1.5. I just changed it to, like I said, I changed it to 10. Uncheck convert units and just press apply. <clears throat> when you press apply, um, your uh, your tree should, um, I, I mean, nothing should happen to your current trees. So we, what you need to do is you need to delete your trees that you added and then add the new prefabs because the prefabs just took effect. Um, so click on your, um, your terrain and just, um, just click on that tree and then edit tree and then remove the tree. So remove all the trees and then edit, add tree and then add it again. Um, so that's true. Yeah. So add that tree again. And then uh, once you add that tree and you click on it, now the tree should be, uh, now the tree should be big. Uh, my trees disappear when I move away. When you from delete them? Yeah, when you delete them, they're supposed to disappear. No, not when I delete them, but when I move away from them. Oh, okay. When you move away from them, they're either gonna turn black or they're gonna turn. They're gonna disappear. Uh, that's okay. That's something we're gonna fix right now. That's just called the uh, how much distance uh, yeah. um, Unity has to um, have in order for to render trees. So that's kind of like a trick to not render too much stuff. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, just hold. Hang on for that. We're gonna fix that in, 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 in soon.
Okay, so I got it. Um, so to uh, go here, uh, okay guys. Um, so once you start placing your trees, uh, you know, place your trees, that's fine. Um, go here to the gear settings, uh, terrain settings. <clears throat> okay, in the terrain settings, scroll down uh, to where it says tree and detail objects. So there um, we have some options that we can change. Um, the first one you should change is tree distance. The tree, tree distance should be completely maxed out. It should go to 5,000. Uh, so where's okay. tr terrain settings? Um, it's, uh, you know where the paintbrush is and then the trees all the way oh, to the end is the gear. Yeah, terrain, the terrain settings. And then there we have tree and detailed objects. Um, it's a, the section. And then <clears throat> there it should say um, tree distance and just make sure it's completely maxed out. 5,000 is the max. And then the next one is a billboard start. So billboard start, um, just bring it up to maybe uh, like 500. 5,000 is still way too small. Way too small for what? Um, like because you said your trees disappear, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that number should be max. Oh, I mean, my number is just five thousand. Like Maybe 5, yours is still too small for me. Like the trees disappear. Um. Maybe it's your billboard start. So n uh, the next option it says billboard start. Uh, bring it up. Maybe that that'll fix your um your rendering problem. Uh, what was that? The next option is called a uh, billboard start. Yeah, okay, that, that fixes it. That fixes it? Okay, perfect. What yeah, should we kick bring, it up to? Um, I'm going to bring it up to 1,000. Because if you plant trees uh, all the way to the end, it should still render the um, the object, the, the tree, I mean. So let me go to trees and just plant. Yeah, if I plant trees there, my, uh, my camera, you see my camera? My camera, once I start getting lower, my camera stops rendering the things in the back, and it, it's able to render this stuff, yeah. Usually, when you have a game, you don't want to render stuff all the way in the back. It's uh, usually a bad idea because then your computer is rendering literally for no reason. Um, my trees are white. Is that <laughs> okay? Uh, the reason why the trees is white because you selected the wrong trees. There's two. There's two trees. There's trees that, that are prefabs. Those have colors and uh, you know the radius set up. And then uh, there are the raw assets where the ones that are just white. Oh, I chose the models. Yeah, you're not supposed to choose the models. You're supposed to choose the prefabs. They already have oh, colors. Okay. So when you click on uh, add trees, so edit add tree, and uh, you click the little circle and then type tree, uh, don't select the white one. Select the, the green ones. They should have uh, the color done already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, and then there, again, uh, if you add these uh, trees, these trees are going to be small, so you have to change all the trees, uh, <coughs> the tree size. So to do that, easy. Um, let me uh, remove this one. To do that, you can just multi-select, go to uh, models, and just select all the models, and just make sure you have the models to, what number did I have? 10, right? Um, and then uncheck uh, convert units, and just press apply, and it should uh, make everything bigger. Yeah, now everything should have the, the correct size. So when you edit trees, add tree, and then you select let's see, tree, and you select like a palm tree, maybe. Oh, 10 is pretty big. Oh, what happened? Maybe it is supposed to be big. Hmm. I'm still getting compiler errors, so I can't play the game. One moment. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's weird. This palm trees are big. <laughs> okay. Um, you said you had a compiler error. What does the compiler error say on the console? Uh, it's, it's this post processing thing. So post processing. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, do this. So um, right-click on your assets folder, so anywhere in the gray area, right-click, and then click on Show and Explorer. Uh, right-click on the... The gray area, anything in the bottom, the, the project uh, okay. folder. Then... Yeah, and then uh, it should say uh, Show and Explorer. I don't Do you see? It. Okay, uh, look at my screen. 
Yeah. Okay. So it's down here, anywhere here on the project folder. So right click okay. down here and then show and explore. <laughs> oh. Okay. And in there, uh, you should see, it's just a desktop and then terrains. I'm not sorry, mine's a desktop. <laughs> Your folder should be called terrains. Just click on terrains. And then you should see assets, library, logs, obs, packages, project settings, and temp. Do you see that? Um, yeah, I see a bunch of folders. OK. And then the folder you want to click on is packages. So double click on packages. Packages, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do you see something in your packages? It says manifest. OK, it's not there. Um, oh, uh, wait, hold on. I got the wrong area. Where is it? OK, I, I sorry. Yeah, I got it the wrong place. It's called library. The, the, um, the folder is called library. Yeah, open up library, and then go to package cache. OK. OK, and inside there, you have post processing, right? Yeah. OK, right click and delete it. OK. OK, and then you should go back to Unity and then press play, and it should be able to um, do it correctly. It still says compiler, but uh, I think it's fine. I just, yeah, I don't need to test the game right now. <laughs> OK, but it should it should reset because it's uh, it should recompile everything. What's uh, up? Fernando? <clears throat> yes? Uh, I can't delete the trees for some reason. Oh, to delete the trees, you hold shift. So on your when you're on the terrain, hold shift. I know, I keep trying. Or maybe make your brush size yeah. bigger and then hold shift. I keep trying that. Um, do you want to yeah. share your screen? Wait, I think this might work. Yeah, I'll share my screen. I think I'm sharing it, yeah. Are you already sharing it? OK. Yeah, I'm still sharing. Let me see. Well, those are some trees. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you're not able to delete yeah. them. Um, uh -uh. Yeah, hold Shift and click on them. Yeah, I keep trying that. No, no, like it go the, the, the circle has to be near the bark, like the the root. So hold shift and then oh. click and drag. Dang, this is pretty quick. Oh. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> okay, I thought you froze. I was like, what's what's going on, man? <laughs> Yeah, my laptop. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's some problems with Unity. With Unity, usually you want a, a very strong computer. Well, not Unity. Sorry. Whenever you do some sort of graphics, you always want a strong computer because um, any type of rendering, ray tracing, um, lighting, it always takes a long time to compute this stuff. Yeah, I can't even zoom in right now. I can just move my cursor. As much okay. As I mean, if it if you can't delete it, you can take the long way of deleting all your trees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Deleting all your trees and then putting them again. That's the long way. <laughs> but it should yeah. work, though. No, I think it's OK. I'll just have a tree in the uh, river. Yeah, you should be able. It says right there. The It says hold shift wait. and then click to erase the trees. I know, right here. Yeah, I've been trying that. I mean, I can't I can't even move. Like, it takes yeah, time. Just, just, just let your computer it. idle for a bit then. Oh, I did it. it. You erased one? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did one. <laughs> well, there you go. You just have to let your yeah, computer load to, then. I need yeah. to get the one in the train. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so yeah. everyone else, um, the last thing we want to do is that you want to explore the world. So uh, that's where um, if you downloaded the, um, I have it downloaded in my own script. If you downloaded the script, uh, make sure you download the script. Uh, let's see. Okay. Download. And then just click and drag it. Just click and drag it in, into the scene. Okay. Um, and it should compile. Uh, mine is not compiling because it has a parentheses. Wait, where would we see it? Oh, wait, we need to click and drag the script yeah, into the Yeah, asset. click and drag your script. Yeah, click and drag okay. your uh, script into the project folder. And inside the project folder, what you're going to do is um, click a game object, cre create a capsule. So this is going to be your player. Um, and it's just uh, to zoom in, just press F. And then you will be able to zoom in your character. 
Uh, just make sure he's on the, uh, what's it called, on the floor level. Um, if it's hard for you to put him on the floor, just hold it. I think you can just hold V. No, you can't. Um, no, you just got to try your best. Uh, there's no, I don't think there's a, a, a snap option. V is only for edges. But anyways, well, once you have your character like this, um, so just, yeah, just make sure you have your character like this. Um, and then add your player movement. Add a character controller. So to add your stuff, just click on Add Component. Uh, oh, so, OK, <clears throat> let me restart. Click on your capsule, and then Add Component. There's a button on the right-hand side on your inspector. Click on it, and then uh, type in Player Movement. And then uh, you add that script. Then you add Character Controller. You add that object. And then you add Rigid Body. So look for Rigid Body. So those are the three components you should uh, add. And then the last thing you need to do is Rigid Body. Click on the little arrow and then check on all freeze rotations, the X, Y, and Z. Okay. Wait. So after we drag the scripts, what sh what what should we do? After you click and drag your script, uh, make sure you add it into <clears throat> your capsule. So make a capsule. To make a capsule, click on Game Object, 3D Object, and then uh, Capsule. Uh, what do we okay. do after Rigid Body? Well, how do you get the script? Uh, you download it on the on the link I shared on the chat. So. If you haven't, I downloaded it and then where I put it. Okay, um, you just click and drag that into uh, down here where the folder is, the asset folder. Uh, where do we see where the capsule? Because I. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, everyone, uh, uh, just stop, stop what you're doing and just look at my screen, yep. so you can see what what's going on. Because everyone's like almost saying the same question. Um, yep. <laughs> okay, um, so when you download the, let me just erase this. Okay. Okay, so um, first thing we do is we download this, right? We right click and then download. And then once we download it, uh, let me actually do this. So everyone should have, everyone's doing um, uh, Google Chrome. Okay, so once you download this, just click and drag it into Unity or wherever you downloaded it. Okay, and then this should appear. It says player movement. Okay, so if you have a Mac, just go to Finder and look for your downloads, click and drag it into Unity. OK. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. I double clicked it. OK. Um, once you have that, the next thing we're going to do is we want to create a capsule. OK. To create a capsule, uh, what we need to do is um, we're going to click up here on the menu bar. It says Game Object. Or right click here on the gray area, any of those two. And then you're going to go to 3D Object, and we're going to look for Capsule. OK. When you have the capsule, it might be underground like this, uh, like below the floor or somewhere, um, you know, so, some weird place. <laughs> just um, press W, uh, and then this the, the tool will pop up, and just uh, click and drag until you get a uh, you know you get the character in a good place. Um, I think if you hold V, uh, it doesn't snap, so don't use V. Um, just try to put it like near the surface. You don't have to be super precise. Just use the arrows until you get, um, and then rotate around to see if you're in the right uh, location. Okay. <clears throat> once you have this, once you have your uh, object in the correct place, click on Add Component, and we're going to add three components. We're going to look for player movement. So we're going to type in player, and then it auto completes. It says uh, player movement. So click on that. Add another component. Add character controller from that object. And then add another com controller, uh, and we're looking for rigid body. Okay, so we're adding three objects to our capsule. Wait, my my screen's not show showing anything. Okay. Uh, uh the character con the character controller is not um it's not copying in. It's like it keep it's saying that it, it it's saying that the compile errors and the class name do not match. Okay, let me uh, let me double check. Okay, um, let me see. <clears throat> Go to Unity. Okay, uh, you see, you have the same problem. You see the parentheses three? Oh, Just re yeah. right click and rename them. So oh, wait, why did that matter again? I don't know. Uh, because the name of the file has to be the same name as the class. So you're going to learn that in Java. So whenever you create a class, the class has to be the same as the file name. It's a weird quirk in programming. Mm -hmm. 
So after we add the three components, then what's the last thing we need to do? Is it the freeze rotation? Yeah, we have to freeze the rotation. So down here where it says constraints, just click okay. on X, Y, and Z. All right. Yeah, but you're still not done yet. <laughs> you need oh, one yeah. last thing. <laughs> gotcha. The last thing is the camera, because if you just press play, your camera is going to be um, floating somewhere else or maybe just looking at the waterfall. Um, and then you also you will see that if you try to move your mouse, your mouse is uh, not there anymore. So press escape button, the escape key on the top left to release your mouse and just uh, press play again to stop uh, playing. To lock your uh, to lock your uh, um, your camera, uh, take a look at my screen. Uh, so you click on your camera, click and drag it into capsule. So when you see that little highlighting and you're uh, pointing right at capsule, uh, it's gonna let you uh, drag it in. So you just drag it in, and now your camera. You take a look at the at the settings on the right hand side. You see it's all skewed, so it's like a weird position. So just zero it out. Click on zero, zero, zero on the X, Y, Z on the position. Rotation, we also change it to zero, zero. Okay, so now it should look something like this, where the camera is like right in the middle of your character. Once you have that position, just pull it out a bit until you see your capsule, and then bring it up just a bit and keep pulling it out up. So your camera should look something like this. And then when you press play, now your character controller should take over. Now you're able to rotate in the world, you're able to you know jump with your character, um, and you're able to examine your, your world. Wait, so what do we do? So, I'm sorry. I'm at the capsule, the main camera, so we drag the main camera into the capsule, or? Yeah, into the capsule, yeah. And it should look something like this, where the main capsule, the, the camera is now, has a little uh, kind of indentation to the capsule. That means now it's a child of the capsule. Okay, so, okay. Because I have the main camera on the sidebar, and when I try and, like, move it to the capsule, it just moves back. So... Mm, can you try... Um... Uh, screen share? share screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have eight errors and 491 warnings. <laughs> nice. So it won't let me run. <laughs> okay, uh, we have to take a look at that. Let me just help um, Let me just help uh, this guy, Gavin, and then uh, I'll, I'll help you out. All right. So... Try, um, Edward, try to get uh, your computer to share screen. I can't really help you out if you can't share uh, screen. I'll... So. I'll Join the call with my main computer. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you see my screen? Uh, yeah, now I can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so do I just um do I do that? Oh no 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 okay no no no. Drag it on the on the capsule so it's on the last object. So okay, uh, one thing, stop playing. Yep. Yeah, you have to stop playing. Oh, no no, that's so, pause. That's uh, pause. So click on play button again. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, okay. Now it's completely off. The reason why you do that is whenever you have to play and you move something, uh -huh. um, Unity will not record it. Okay. If you stop playing, then it will record whatever whatever you move. Okay. That's so now click okay. and drag your camera into the capsule on the left. No, no, I'll stay on the hierarchy. Click and drag it. Uh, here. Yeah. Click and drag it down, 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 down. Not oh, left. Oh, oh, to this. Yeah, yeah right there. Uh huh. Ah. There you go. Okay. And now you can. You that can looks zero. like that. Okay. Okay. And now yeah, I can yeah, yeah. play. No, 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 no. You still oh. can't. Go to the ca camera. Uh -huh. And the position is weird, yeah. You see the position? It says uh, negative 583, yeah. negative 31. Yeah, zero everything out. Mm. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. okay. Now you see that camera is like right in the middle of the character. So click on yeah. your camera again. Okay, click on the blue arrow. Uh -huh. like click and drag it back just a bit. No, that's forward. Back, 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 back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, okay. It's somewhere there, okay. Now pull okay. it up. Pull the camera up, so green arrow. Yeah, uh, too much. You see the pr camera preview? That's what you're yeah. seeing. So keep yeah. going down a bit. <clears throat> yeah, with third-person player com um, controllers, <clears throat> you can still see your character, but your character has to be somewhere around. Yeah, Got that's it. fine. So, yeah, okay. yeah that, that's fine. And now press right. play, and you, now you should be able to uh, play with the character. All right. What are the oh, moves? You are, you, yeah, oh. you are actually missing something. You see the text on the bottom? There's like red yeah. text. That's an error. Or, okay. Actually, can you move? Can you press the WASD? Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Oh. So it must have been an error before. Oh. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'll just stop sharing. All right. Thank you. Of course. All right. Um, uh, Adrian, is everything okay? Yeah. Okay. And Molly, everything okay? Yeah, my computer is just slow. <laughs> okay.
Um, just make sure you have the capsule controller and now you can explore your world. Um, <clears throat> um, let's see, Gavin, power chart, everything okay? Uh, yeah, I can do the, yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Okay, and then uh, last, uh, Edward, uh, do you have the connection so we can see what's going on? Um, uh, can you join me? Can you let me join the call? Yeah. Uh, I'm not in the call, so I can't share. Are you in the call? Because I don't, you didn't uh, ask to go in. Huh? Asking to join. Uh, maybe you're in a different call. <laughs> I don't, I don't see it. When you join the call, it should say uh, Fernando is there, Adrian is there, Gavin is there, Puma is there. Everyone, uh, like a list of people should be there. If you don't see it, that means you're in the wrong call. Oh, I see it. Now you joined. Uh, just make sure you uh, click and drag your camera into your capsule. And then um, in your capsule, you're, you should be able to uh, do your thing. OK. Uh, let's see, package cache, library, post processing. Oh, yeah. So it's the same thing as the post. Can you click on clear? Uh, it's a, there's a button on the bottom. Yeah, click on clear. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you go back to uh, this? Can you go to window? Uh, I want to see your package manager. No, 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 not that. On the menu bar on the top. Yeah, window. Um, get a package mass manager. <clears throat> oh, it is, it is different. Holy moly, they did change it. Um, okay, um, can you click on, uh, wait, what does, what does mine say? Can you click on all packages or packages and it says my assets? Yeah, all? Okay, uh, scroll down. Until you see, um, was it the pack? Uh, post on? Um, is it post processing? Yeah, post processing. I think you passed it. Uh, POS. Yeah, and then it says update to two point three. Yeah, there we go. Wow, yours is a two zero three two zero three two three zero, and mine's at two point one. Wow, you're like using brand new stuff, dude. <laughs> right. Uh... Oh God. Sorry, I'm seeing two computers. Uh, yeah, you can just mute one of them, and then that, that, that shouldn't happen. What's up? Maybe I can download just the uh, uh, latest. No, no, drug. no. That's fine. I think this this fixed it. Press play. Okay. I uh, I have one error now. You have one error. Uh, it's press clear. Processing it's it. Press clear. Um. Oh, this problem. Okay, this problem. Um. Uh, Let's see, let's see. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. No, hold on. Just keep that error there. Um, okay. Um, I haven't memorized that uh, that uh, thing. Okay. Um, so can you double click that error? Double click it, yeah. Wow, it's really fast. <laughs> um, and now let's uh, go to go up there where it says, uh, yeah, up up there, line number six. It says custom property drawer type of, and then min attributes. So yeah. before min attributes, yeah, uh huh. Uh, you're going to type in uh, capital U, Unity, capital E, engine, the so Unity engine, dot, post, capital P, uh, capital P again, processing, uh, dot, 
I mean, perfect. Okay. And uh, um, I do the same thing uh, down there. Where, uh, line number, hold on. Line number 11. Yeah, just copy that. And line number 11. No, 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 uh, right there. Uh -huh, perfect. I think you have to do it to the other one too. Yeah. So the one before it, this is min attribute. Oh, I was to know 11, you were going to 11. say that. Yeah. All right, save it. I'm going to go back to Unity. Yeah. And now I should be able to load. I have a. It says hold on. Yeah, I know. I can see. <laughs> Um, Fernando, for some reason, my W is like sideways and then my A is back. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, Did you reset your... Okay, now you can press play. Um, did you reset your camera rotations? What okay, you, you can mean, press like play, the... Edward. Edward, press play. Like the number? Uh, looks like it's... Okay. Edward. Oh, go. God. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you forgot to... Uh... Okay, stop playing. Let's escape. Okay, uh, click on your capsule, and then you forgot to um, scroll down on your uh, rigid body um, uh, constraints. 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 Uh -huh. The last one, yeah. And then uh, the rotation X, Y, and Z. Check them. Rotation only. No, that's position. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you uncheck your Y. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it automatically unchecks it for some It unchecks it? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, uh, 20, uh, 2020 yeah. is weird. Oh, uh, my camera's spinning. When I... <laughs> 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 okay, um, stop playing. Okay, go to your camera. Click on the little arrow and then click on your camera. Um, that's weird. Okay, click on your capsule. Scroll down on your caps. Yeah, it's your Y. Why does it uncheck it for you? That's weird. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> it yeah, you probably double clicked it. There you go. That's cool. Okay, and then uh, since this is your first time doing it, both Edward and um, I'm sorry, I forgot your, your name already. Um, Gavin, uh, since this is your first time doing player movement, uh, and also Molly, I think. Um, on the right-hand side, you see where it says player movement script when you click on your capsule? You can change speed and jump speed. Uh, oh, to I change, see. Yeah, you can change those settings. So uh, the player movement, so up there, uh, up, yeah, right there, uh-huh. You can change how fast you're walking. Um, how f That's a little too fast. <laughs> um, jump speed, um, how, how jump high speed. you're jumping and things okay. like that. Also, are um, you supposed to be allowed to just, like, hop up really okay. tall mountains? Like, for me, I... Made some really tall mountains. Are you supposed to be allowed to like hop all the way up them? <laughs> no, you're not supposed to. But uh, the settings in the player uh, player controller is the things we need to refine. We need to change uh, what slopes we can go up and what we can. Oh, so okay. uh, yeah, if you look at character controller, it says slope limit forty five degrees. Uh, so if you make the number bigger, uh, it's gonna um, reduce the. Uh, it's it's not gonna allow you to. Uh, oh, uh, I see. Go up I those see. Things. Yeah, yeah. So th cool. those are all just small things you need to add it. This is just basic terrain stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Uh, so that is it for terrains. Of course, there is a lot, a lot to do in terrains. Um, these are just very basic things, a very basic scene. Um, again, you're free to go to the asset store and download whatever you, you, you see and it looks nice. You can download it. Um, the, thing, the only thing we didn't go through is grass. I usually try to stay away from grass because grass um, eats the CPU like crazy, uh, unless you want to go through that... Uh, <laughs> That that route that's that's totally fine. Another cool thing you guys can do is you actually can put wind in this game. Um, so if you go to if you right click uh, 3D object or sorry effects, uh, no is it 3D object? Uh, here wind zone. So if you create a wind zone, uh, you could actually make the uh, the trees kind of like a bend. So let's just uh, main turbulence and do um, five with the wind and let's press play and let's see how that works. My well, mind didn't work. Um, I think yours. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, what happens is the main one uh, doesn't have too much. Oh, let me see if I bring this up. 
Yeah, these trees actually don't have um, colliders with them. So actually you can't do this with uh, these trees. You have to add colliders to these uh, trees in order for them to bend. Um, and also if you notice that if you walk through them, uh, they don't have colliders. You can just add colliders to them and then uh, you know that, that fixes the problem. To add colliders, just go to the trees section and where it says type tree and just add a capsule collider. So add capsule collider. And then all of them should now have capsule colliders. If they don't, just erase all the trees and then put them back, uh, put them back in. Again, that's just extras that you can do later. Um, okay, Molly, it looks like you still have questions. What, what's your questions? How do you put something back? How do you like move the thing, move the um, character? Um, can you uh, share your screen so I can help you out faster? Okay. Ah. Uh, Fernando, is that it? Is is the class over? Because my laptop's like about to explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, the class is over. That's why I asked if anyone has any questions. Yeah, oh, uh, I'm just okay. helping out. Yeah, I'm just okay. helping out anyone else that uh, that oh. needs help. But thanks okay. for coming, guys. <laughs> In that case, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. We'll have a next session tomorrow at yeah. uh, ten if you guys are interested. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank All right. You. See you guys. See you. All right, uh, Molly. Let's see what you got. Uh, you have player movement, capsule collider. Uh, you need to add one more component. Click on add component. And uh, click on character controller. Type in character controller. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now you should be able to press, uh, press play. And uh, let's see what happens. Pray, press play. I press it, it's so slow. Ah, I see. Oh, your computer is the one that's uh, not yet on you. Okay. It's so slow. That's okay. Okay, uh, here, let's do something. Um, so can you click, double click on baking on the bottom right? <laughs> okay, no, stop playing. Nice. Uh, do you have another question, Edward? Or, uh... Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. Oh, we're, are we done? Yeah, yeah, we're, you're free to go. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. Thank you. Of course, take care. If you're interested, we have some, another class tomorrow. So the next one's tomorrow at 10 p.m. At 10, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we'll be going over the, the other stuff, shooting. We'll be, we'll be doing pew-pew. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Of course, yeah. Okay, um, so can you stop playing, uh, Molly? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, it's a ticket, it's time. What are you using, a laptop? Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Is it a Chromebook? No, it's a regular Windows, I think, right? Yeah, it's a Windows. Uh, okay. Let me stop the recording, I'll see.